Hello and welcome. This is uh, our first uh, Java tutorial. It's not a Java tutorial. This is uh, a tutorial for doing iReport from uh, JasperSoft. Uh, this is a standalone program. It can also be a plugin in the NetBeans. Uh, which we're working in, but uh, I will show you first time as a uh, standalone. This standalone is quite good because then you have the opportunities to see how these things work, and after that you can uh, just use the plugin in the NetBeans. Uh, th this standalone gives more an idea of how things work, so uh, here it is, as you see. It's quite easy to use because when we start up, we have a quick start. And uh, the first things we're going to do is we're going to have some data to create this report from. And we are using a database you can also use in CSV, you can use XML, you can use whatever you want to do. All the things we can use is uh, listed here. Uh, I will make a connection to a database. You call it, what do you want to call it? We have one here. Uh, you can uh, either write the URL or if you cannot remember, there's a quite good wizard. This is. Uh, just writing your server address and then uh, what's the name of the uh, database and then we have the wizard up here now you got the URL and then we gonna log on using our username and our password if you don't want to type your password each time you're gonna connect or each time you're gonna have some data out of the database please just use this one safe password then we're gonna test the connection connection test successful perfect just move on now we have to see, okay, we're going to create this report with some owners. And it's quite easy. There are some uh, predefined, uh, all of them are either portrait or landscape. Uh, then we have uh, the blank ones, and then there are some uh, funny ones here. Uh, we're going to make some coffee tables. Lounge report, call it report 4, whatever you want to call it. To do here, where you want to save it, and that's that. And this is the file, it's going to be named like this. Uh, then you have this connection. You can have a lot of connections, and you just pick the one you're gonna use, and then you make a simple uh, SQL query to get out all the data you wanna use for this report. Even if you get all data in the next step, as you will see, we can pick what kind of rows we wanna have in our report. So we just say select star from owner table. And this is normally SQL statements. And here we got all our rows. Okay, I would like to have this owner ID, I would like to have a first name, I would like to have a last name, email and a phone. This is the things I want in my report. And then we press next. And here you can group it, and when they say group it, they mean what should be in the header and what should be the first things you want. I want to group this after my last name, and then of course you can choose whatever you want, up to four, thi uh, four things you can group it through. Only four, even if you have more than than four uh, four fields or four rows in your report, you can only group four of them. And then we have done this first part of a report. Now we're gonna see how this report template is, and this is the template for all the reports. All this you can change as you like. We have a title, we have a subtitle, we have some text telling about what is this and blah blah blah, and then we have this group by the last name. This is the header where we get the last name. We have the owner ID presented by the owner ID, the first name presented by the first name, email presented by email, phone presented by phone. And then here, this is the bottom, I should say this is the footer of the whole thing. There is a new Java utility date. This means that you can just get a date, uh, the actual date, and you can do it in what kind of uh, format you like to do it, and that is uh, some of the things we're going to look through in the other tutorials. This tutorial is just showing how to make a report very easy. This over here is how many sites are going to be at all, and what sites are we on. Okay, uh, I want to change these things, and the only problem is that we can right-click on our mouse, but we cannot change anything. We have to check the properties file over here, and so change these things here. We call this KJMC, KJMC and then try to do it like that. Owners, like this. And now you see, okay, oh, not enough place. Or, yeah, that is, this is a NetBean clone. So, like this, we have the header, we have a, we have a title, and then we're gonna, yeah, again, <laughs> quite annoying, going to the properties up here, and this is gonna be a owner list. And so we have all this text. We can write a lot of blah blah, or we can just write sorted by last name. Yeah, 
and this should be this. And then, pretty much, we have done this report. We're gonna make a preview. And just waiting. Yes, there it is. We're gonna have it also in a PDF in this time, or just as a preview on the screen. Up here, we can see what kind of previews we want. I have chosen PDF. We can choose whatever you want, a kind of previews. And this is uh, showed here. We have the header where we have grouped by our last name. And then we have, okay, this is own IDs, first names, emails, and phones. Our title, subtitle, and the, the blah blah field. And if we go down here, we can see, okay, this is the uh, first day, 2nd of December 2010, just today. And then we have two pages, and we are on page one. The other good things with this iReport is that this is going to be an XML file, meaning we can use and export whatever we like to do it. And then, of course, there is a print method. So this is just this print, and you got out your report. So this is this for this time. Uh, please sign up to weloveforfailing.com on YouTube. And to get more tutorials on iReports, get more tutorials on Java. Thank you for this time. Bye.